Hi, this is Sergeant Beast Larson. We're going to react and discuss a video came out yesterday. Georgia officer and a black lift passenger in a physical altercation. I'm just going to explain it that way. We don't have a lot of details. The only video shown starts from passengers with officer, two officers and a suspect on the ground. Both officers are white. Uh, the man on the ground that's resisting arrest is black. So let's take a look. Now remember, this is coming from a motorist, a passing motorist. Don't have a lot of details. Uh, my first observation, this woman being that close, when the backup arrives, she'd be going to jail for obstruction. She got no business being three, four feet away in the officer's face. Now this is coming from a cell phone. Things are moving around, so just bear with me. This is the best uh, of the two videos that I can see. Okay, here's the officer. We just saw he's, looks like a couple uh, strikes to about the head area. See, he's trying to get a wrist lock and an arm bar right there. You'll see the other officer on the ground. So what we don't know is does the black man have the other, other officers? Is he got a weapon? Does he have the officer's gun? Does he have the other officer in a headlock? What is he doing? It's not just the police have a guy on the ground beating him in the head. See the other, other officer's head? I got my clicker, see? He actually has to tell her to get back. Now here comes a backup officer. And the camera's moving around, I apologize. That's, that's the person taking it. See, here's the third officer. He helps, they get him rolled, they get him in a better position. He pushes and gets her away, that's very smart. Now they're gonna get the handcuffs on. He's got his knees down, a knee in front of the head and the other knees on the chest. See, he's not kneeling on his head or his neck. and the camera's gonna go off, and then we'll come back. So he's getting some handcuffs on. Look, nobody's punching or hitting anybody. So the officers were, both officers, using some defensive tactics technique not working. You can see he was trying, the black man was trying to roll over. And look, now he's patting him on the chest. He's going straight into the first aid mode. He rolled him on the side, and it kind of gets cut off. Let's go back and watch this again. So it's not, this doesn't look like a malicious attack because as soon as they can get the third officer there and get control, they get him in a better position on the ground. They get the cuffs on, roll him, get him on the side, get him up. And then there's, there's no more striking or, or anything. They're just holding him. Everybody's catching their breath. See, we've got hand right there, trying to get his hand down the wrist town. And we don't know. We don't know if there's any weapons involved. We don't know if he had the other officer in a chokehold again. You don't know these things. What I know for sure, they're, they're trying. Remember the brachial stun, the side of the neck area, trying to stun him, trying to use his weight control. See, he's trying to bend his arm that way and get a good arm line. Just because his hand is moving doesn't mean every strike is punching him in the face. Keep in mind officers, also the officer's safety, they don't know if that woman, what she's gonna do. I mean, being so close, she can start spitting and hitting, kicking, or just jumping belly splash. Why in the world would you, as a citizen, get a camera and come and get right in her face like that? Now you can see he just moved his knee, knee on his chest. Now he's using some weight to hold him down. Torso, see the man's head came up, came down. We'll get right back over here to the corner. Right here, we're gonna get some handcuffing on. See, there's nothing going on. There we go. Right here, handcuffs. They're both up. They're rolling on the side, and that's it. So tell me what you think about this. And uh, I'm in an area. I've got a little background noise. Apologize for that. But you, you can hear me. You can see this video and get the point. Here, number one point. However, they ended up on the ground. There had to be some resisting. So here's the bottom line. Again, folks, when the police tell you to do something, do what they say. You won't end up on the ground. You won't end up in a physical altercation, a fight with the police. Just do what they say.
and they tell you you're under arrest or put your hands behind your back, do it, stand still. None of this will happen. 10 seconds, you'll be cuffed, you'll be searched, put in the back seat, off to jail. And they'll tell them at the county jail, hey, he was cooperative, which means it helps you get out. They're not going to put you with a bunch of drunks. They're not going to just delay or put you bottom on the list. Cooperation goes a long way. But we seem to not get that. That's why we have continued videos and we keep having this discussion. So hit the like, hit the share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.